So what are we talking about today? Well, it's right up there. Let me go grab it. This, my friends, is the Saddleman Step Up. And today I'm gonna to give you an extended review of this with a good focus on long distance travel. So this long-term review of the Saddleman Step Up is part of a longer series where I'm going to be talking about all the gear and equipment that I used on the Route 66 trip, how it worked for me, how it didn't, what I would have kept, what I would have changed, just every little detail so you know what worked for me, what didn't, and maybe it'll help you out for some of your long trips. If you haven't already seen my first thoughts and my full review of the Saddleman Step Up, I've got links to both of those up here and links down below to it. The things that I talked about in those two videos, I'm gonna cover a little bit here, but the latter part of this video is gonna be focused on long distance riding with the Step Up. So stick around till the end for that. Before I get into talking about this, I just wanna mention a few things. My name's Joe and I love motorcycles, travel, and talking about life. So if you like any one of those three things, go ahead and click on that subscribe button right now. And if you wanna know when I upload these videos, go ahead and click on that bell icon. I just wanna say right now that this Wisconsin winter has been one of the rougher ones. I haven't been able to ride at all. That's been challenging. But what's gotten me through this winter is having that Route 66 trip for everybody to see and follow along and all the comments and love and support and just everybody who said that they've enjoyed the series has meant a lot to me and that's getting me through this winter. If you haven't already checked out the Route 66 series, go ahead and click up there and down below. T-shirts commemorating the Route 66 trip are now available. They're $17 plus shipping and handling. Go ahead and click on the link in the description if you want one of those t-shirts and hey, look at that. I'm wearing one right now. Designed by D-Cycle, another motovlogger. He's done a really good job with this and a lot of people have liked the t-shirt and I really like the job that D-Cycle has done. So go ahead and check out that link if you're interested in a t-shirt. So I'll start with why I got the Saddleman Step Up. Many of you know, I love travel. And I've done a lot of travel in my life and most recently, my passion has been traveling by motorcycle. Specifically, on a mid-displacement sporty. And the Iron 883 that I ride stock is not designed for long distance travel. So I've had to do quite a few mods to it. One of them is the seat. So I got the Saddleman Step Up with that focus. The pillion portion of the seat is great for travel because you can place a bag on the back of here. And actually yesterday, Saddleman just yesterday posted a picture on their Instagram of my exact setup using a different bag, but my exact setup where the bag is placed on back here connected to the sissy bar. And the step up is actually really good for my setup because I have the burly sissy bar on the back of my bike. It's wide enough to put a bag on back and wide enough for passenger comfort. But what's really great about it is it's thin enough that it fits in between the burly sissy bar. And I was really looking for that while researching seats. It had to fit with that burly sissy bar. And from my research, very few one piece two up seats fit in between that sissy bar and also had the comfort that the Saddleman has. So the other reason I was focused on the Saddleman was comfort. Because if you're on long rides, you're gonna need a comfortable seat. What makes the Saddleman step up so comfortable for long rides is the gel inside this seat. I will never, ever not buy another seat without gel inside it. That's how much of a difference this made on long rides. Now it's a technology that Saddleman has developed, their gel core technology. It's made of elastic polymers that produce this, this gel inside here. What does that mean? Well, the, what the gel does is a couple of things. One, it dampens the vibrations from the motorcycle and input from the road. So if you're riding on some rough roads and the vibrations from your bike, the gel inside here will help dampen those vibrations. Also, the bane of anybody riding on two wheels, whether it be a bicycle or a motorcycle, is friction and pressure points. If you have a seat that moves you around quite a bit, like foam wood. If you're bouncing around, that's creating friction between you and your body parts. The more friction, the more sore you're gonna get. More importantly, the gel eliminates pressure points by evenly distributing your weight throughout the seat. And pressure points create hot spots, which creates discomfort. The elimination of those pressure points by distributing your weight evenly is what makes this seat so comfortable and allows you to ride further and longer. What else is great about this seat? Well, it's carpeted on bottom to protect your bike and the seat itself.
Now, it may seem counterintuitive to have a very stiff seat on your motorcycle. It seems like if something has a little bit of flex, it might be more comfortable. The opposite is actually true. That goes along with the lines of, of pressure points and moving about on the seat. Think about your stock Harley seat. A lot of those are just made of foam and plastic and you can bend them quite easily. Whereas this keeps you in place, it keeps the seat in place reducing movement, which makes it much, much more comfortable. It also has these rubber bumpers on here, which again, along with the gel, reduces vibrations from the motorcycle. It also protects the paint on your bike. It's just a really great construction, a really great design. The whole seat itself is made of marine grade vinyl. And I had a few commenters say, vinyl, it's not a leather seat. There's no way I'm gonna use that. The reality is, this vinyl is gonna last much, much longer than leather will. Think about leather sitting out in the sun, in the heat, in the rain. It's not gonna last as long as this would. Now, one reason I have this seat inside my house right now is because it's winter time. I don't wanna keep it stored in the garage because during winter time, there's extremes in temperature. And a swing of 50 degrees is not uncommon in Wisconsin winters. Not only will cold reduce the life of the seat, but also those extremes and temperatures will too. So I like to keep it indoors when I know I'm not gonna use it for a while. So now I talked about the basics of the settlement step up. Let's go outside, get into the garage, get on the bike, see how it looks, and I'll talk to you more about how it worked for me for long distance rides. Let's go, come on. So I think it looks pretty good on the bike. I love how thin it is here in the middle. I love how wide it is here where your ass sits. And as I mentioned earlier, it fits nicely in between the burly sissy bar. A few other things that I didn't mention inside. One, I love how much this seat grips. The diamond stitch pattern on here is just absolutely gorgeous. And the way the seat is constructed, it just holds you in place. The back here also holds you in place, especially when you pull on the throttle. And when I had my bag on the back here, my Kiryakin bag for the trip, it was just perfect because I can lean back. My ass was up against this back here and my back was against the bag. It was ridiculously comfortable, especially when I got on the super slab and I put my feet up on the highway bar there. It was absolutely comfortable, especially on those longer rides. So would I suggest this seat if you want to take your sporty on long distance rides like I did on the Route 66 trip? Absolutely. freaking lutely This seat, is what made the trip possible. If I had my stock seat, if I had my stock seat, there's no way that this thing would be comfortable on anything longer than a 15 or 20 minute ride. I mean, one thing that I like to do to show how uncomfortable a seat like this can be is the fact that you can bend this thing. You can't do that with a step up or even with the Lapera Aviator that I previously had. But what makes this better than the Aviator? The gel inside, the grip of the seat, the seat back, and the pillion portion. All those combined puts this seat in a different league above my Aviator and above a lot of other seats out there. And not even in the same universe as the stock seat. I can 100% say that having this seat allowed me to ride hundreds of miles more per day allowed me to stay comfortable on the bike on some of those longer rides. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, there's a longer break-in period than most seats because of the gel. But those two things are a small price to pay to have the benefits of this seat for long rides. And I won't hesitate to suggest this seat to anybody. And I have a lot of viewers on Instagram, on Facebook, over email, and in the comment section on the YouTube channel have asked me about this seat specifically for longer rides and I have not hesitated to suggest it. And I know some of you out there have actually, because of the videos on this channel, have chosen this seat and love it as much as I do. The only thing I'll say is just try and get over that, that initial two to 300 miles break-in period because the seat is a little bit hard at first. It will sag about a half inch, but that's natural. 
Most seats do that. But once you get beyond those initial 300 miles, the seat is so comfortable and it's just absolutely perfect for longer rides. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions about the Saddleman Step Up seat. If I haven't, go ahead, email me at joe at gradygripmoto.com. I'll be able to answer her questions by email. Hit me up on Instagram or on Facebook or in the comment sections below. I'll be able to answer any questions you have about the Step Up or any other questions that you have about riding long distance or about sporties or anything. If, even if you just want to say hello, I welcome that as well. Again, t-shirts are for sale, $17 plus shipping and handling. There's some big news coming soon with the Midwest Moto Meetup. I'm so excited to share this with all of you. That's coming soon. Stay tuned, stay tuned to this channel. I'm gonna have some updates. If you want the latest updates, go ahead and click in the upper right corner here or down below. You can sign up for email updates or you can just look at the updates on the website because they'll be updated there very soon. If you love what I'm doing here, go ahead and click on that like button. Helps out this channel a ton. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And if you definitely have not seen the Route 66 series yet, go ahead and click on that. By far the most popular videos on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing, there's a link below for Patreon where you can donate as little as a dollar per month to help support this channel. But all the money donated through Patreon goes towards the Midwest Moto Meetup. I'm so excited to share some news with you guys soon. Stay tuned. But as always, ride safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.